Today, we're diving into the life of a true American hero, Henry Johnson. Though he was only 5'4 and weighed around 130 pounds, Johnson's courage and determination would make him legendary during World War I. Yes, you heard that right world where I born in North Carolina and raised in Albany, New York. Johnson worked as a railroad porter before the war. When the United States entered World War in 1917, Johnson enlisted in the U.S. Army, eager to prove himself on the front lines. Johnson was assigned to the 369th Infantry Regiment, known as the Harlem Hellfighters. This regiment, composed of African-American soldiers and led by both black and white officers, was not fully accepted by the American military and was instead assigned to fight alongside the French army. On May 14, 1918, Private Johnson was stationed in a French trench near the Argonne Forest with another soldier, Private Needham Roberts. It was a quiet night until they heard the ominous sound of German soldiers cutting through the barbed wire. Suddenly, they were attacked by a German raiding party of about 20 soldiers. With Roberts wounded early on, Johnson fought alone. Running out of ammunition, he used his rifle as a club and eventually drew his bolo knife slashing and stabbing to fend off the attackers. Be why, the time the attack ended, Johnson had killed at least four German soldiers and wounded several others. He saved Robert's life and prevented the Germans from capturing valuable intelligence. His actions earned him the nickname, the One Man Army. Despite his heroism, Johnson's actions went largely unrecognized by the American government at the time. France, however, awarded him the Croix de Guerre, one of their highest military honors. But back in the US, he returned to discrimination and was denied a disability pension for the wounds he'd suffered. Henry Johnson passed away in 1929, but his legacy endured. Decades later, his heroism was finally recognized. In 1996, he was posthumously awarded the Purple Heart, and in 2003, the Distinguished Service Cross. Finally, in 2015, President Obama awarded Johnson the Medal of Honor, the nation's highest military award. Henry Johnson's story is one of incredible bravery against all odds, and his legacy reminds us that true heroism is bound not by race or background, but by courage and sacrifice. Thank you for joining us to honor the memory of Henry Johnson, the one-man army of World War I. Let's ensure his story continues to inspire generations to come.